as a player development specialist, how do you look at NIL and the transfer portal and its effect not only on your position and and how you would have to craft specific um, you know education around it, but but how does it affect the players and and the community? Yeah, for it was crazy. My NIL story uh, when it came out, the coach head coach I was working for, he was like, "Hey y'all, let's just." let's not say anything about it. Maybe the kids won't know. And I'm sitting there like, are you crazy? My timeline is full of, hey, starting tomorrow. You they knew. Know. They knew exactly what was going on. Come on. Was like, I was sitting there in a the meeting like, does he not know what? <laughs> they knew like, before we knew. That's always, Ed, that's always my Ed, life. And I have to ask you, were you at Clemson? Because that sounds like a Dabo Sweeney sort of oh, thing. <laughs> it was, I was sitting there. It was, I'm sitting there like, Yo, are we? This can't be. I was looking around like, y'all, does does he realize like <laughs> 12 p.m., 12 a.m. tonight is going down? But anyway, um, what NIL does is it, when it first started, I thought it would be good because I think it was the business side. It forced players to, to create a business, LLC, different things like that. And everybody was talking branding, but I was excited because, like, yeah, it's business. Going back to what we talked about responsibility, you got taxes, you got to create an LLC, you got to create bank accounts so you can keep it safe. So we having all these conversations, but then of course, collectors a lot different now. But what it does in an aspect when I talk to people who are in the role um, is it it cuts that timeline down immediately. So every conversation is a development conversation per se, because I don't I got you six months. I'm promised six months with you, you know. And so I'm trying to get as much or plant a seed so at least at some point it works um, because of the transfer portal. You know, I always thought that I was like nil locker room. I said it kind of be like a professional locker room like everybody knows like when I was in school my sophomore year like okay I understand why he, he's, he's better than me like let's just keep it a buck but I can understand if it's like but he's not better than me you know uh but NIL that's why I thought it would balance it because I was like the specialists were I thought the specialists were going to get the most because they have the biggest personality specialists and offensive linemen but then when the collectors pay I mean it is what it is I mean we got schools where we pay for players one of the universities I used to work for uh but anyway it just makes it, it creates every moment is now a special moment. Every conversation is a needed conversation with that athlete. Like when I was there, I could say, you know what? I'll talk to him next week about this. There's is no name. You need to talk to him now because you don't know if he's going to be here at the end of the season or what's going to be on your plate. I think it it, it, it truncates the, the mission of what you want to do. But I think it's still you still can be very missional in it uh, once you find out where people are, because there's a lot of life lessons there to teach. Um, and even if we're not talking NIL, we're just talking a transfer portal. Once again, you're on a six month lease, but this, for me, it's like sowing seeds. Like what seeds can I sow? What seeds can I sow? Because before we had transfer portal, when I was at the University of Houston, we did a lot of the uh, grad transfers. So I had a lot of props in that because we had like seven guys. So I'm sitting here, they're 23 years old. They got six, four months really. Like, you know, like they know it. And so I had, that was a good practice for me to just say, how can I, how can I provide value where they are right now in their life? One guy was from the city, from the neighborhood I talked about, he just wanted to pour back. Okay, let's pour back. Let's teach him how to pour back. So it makes it, it, it it's tough. I've heard a lot of people talk about it, um, but I, I think there is still opportunities because if you look at, you know, the Olympics or you look at sport and you hear stories, like all it takes is one young kid to go to a game. They're like, so-and-so inspired me and I made those steps. So uh, it's taking advantage of every single moment you have um, with the players, but it, it's that's got to be tough. 